Hi everybody, this is Joshua. I'm going to do a fa- another fun program today and um, in Coda.org la- game lab and it's it's type of another it's type of a type of a bong, bong game I think so it is type of a bong game so I'm going to do it right now so I'm going to get in, I'm going to get it started so first I'm going to uh, like there will be three sprites in this so I'm going to take three sprites one moment yeah three sprites okay all of them has three sprites okay now I'm going to just rename all of them just into what I want player first I'm going to make the first one as the player paddle because the player has to play so and this one as the ball so and this one as the uh, computer paddle because uh, because uh, I'm going to put an AI for this so, so that it uh, just goes by itself I don't need to handle it Okay, we have done the paddles. Now I have to just do the uh, sprites. I'm just gonna do the sprites. Here we go. Okay, everything is in one place only. So I'm, now I'm gonna just segregate them. So this one is like going a ten, and this and this one is will be. one is like the opposite which is three um yeah correct three backspace 80 then this one is this is also the same height of the computer paddle um and this one is just like same 200 200 wherever it is but the width is just a bit small so it's like 10 10 now let's reset and Okay, we have our computer battle set, we have a player battle set and now what we are going to do is, we are going to like, um, like not we, like I'm going to do, I'm going to do, yeah, correct, I'm going to do, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to take, I'm going to use this paddle, so like, I'm going to use it like, uh, to move, yeah, correct, like I'm going to make it move, so that um, then only you can play a pong game so I'm just gonna make it move so so you wanted to move up and down you have to use the Y position so I'm going to rename that to player paddle yeah player paddle and I'll do this and then I'll just do the what is that it's good and now what I need to do is like I'm going to do the same thing to the computer paddle but this time it's different um, I'm going to build an AI so uh, it's like it's not very complicated so I'm just going to do it um, so a computer AI is done like um, I'm going to do it so it's instead of putting world out mouse why because it'll just follow you it won't follow the ball so so you want it to follow the ball so you have to put ball dot y so ball dot y means like uh, how much ever the ball ball goes like however speed however how much ever velocity it goes that much velocity it also it also will be going so i'm going to do the velocity Velocity. I'm going to do velocity x x equals maybe 5 yeah 5 is a good number and even now ball dot velocity y is also is equal to 5 so 5 is also a good number okay we have done the ball dot velocity now let's reset and run. Okay, 
your ball and your okay, there is this background thing so you don't want your background to be like this it will be like don't, it won't look nice so what i'm gonna i'm gonna just fix this problem by just taking the background color so i'm gonna give the background color some white now okay okay we have we have done we have fixed the problem and now what we have to do is like now we have to make the ball bounce off different things so you want to bounce off the top edge and the bottom edge but you don't want them to the bounce off the right edge and the left edge because that's where the computer paddle and the player paddle is protecting the display if it doesn't if it bounces off how can you say that it's so I'm going to now what now I'm going to what I'm going to do is like I'm going to do the, use the bounce off function which is like which helps to like bounce off wherever you want. You can bounce off the paddle, you can bounce off the edges, like it is in the sense like where my cursor is now, like the top edge and the bottom edge. So I'm just gonna reset and now I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna do the bounce off function. So ball So I'm gonna I'm just gonna put the target as um, yeah ball should bounce off the top edge first okay they have the things top edge then ball dot same bounce off but this time it's a bottom edge so bottom edge then ball dot bounce off Okay, wait one minute. Yeah, bounce off, bounce, bounce off the player paddle. So the player. Okay, wait one minute. The player paddle. One minute. Okay, yeah. The player uh, paddle is like. So, so you want it to bounce off those um, like just imagine it's tennis rackets and you want it to bounce off them so obviously you need a bounce off function to do this so and you want it to bounce off even the computer pattern so I'm just gonna do it bounce off computer paddle okay computer paddle is done just need it to be semicolon and now now let's run it. Okay. okay, there's this error which I'm going to fix now. So this error is uh, because I didn't do the create sprites, which is important. So I'm going to go to the sprites, go down, found it, create sprites. So it helps in finding sprites. So I'm going to reset and then run. Oh yay, it works. So now what i'm gonna do is like you if it goes out it's gone out for sure so so you don't want that to happen so i'm gonna do specifically an if condition so that if uh, if condition is like um so i'm gonna do an if condition okay so the if condition there are two if conditions this time uh so now you this one has to be deleted and it has to be here and uh, okay we didn't write anything so for now yeah okay let's do it so the first if condition is like um so what i'm gonna write first is like ball dot x E sorry not equals this time I need to put the lesser sign lesser than 400 then you have to do the or operator so which like you can do like or the and operator so we call this line line as the or operator in code.org lab so now I'm going to do ball dot x is zero okay I got this now I don't want to do the same thing. I have to do the same thing, but I'm not going to do the second one, which has ball dot x 
is greater than zero. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do ball dot ball dot x equals small. small. So I'm gonna do this the smaller sign. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna put reset. So nothing is going to work because no one knows reset and I didn't even put a function called reset. So I'm going to put a function called reset now. So I'm going to do the world loop and take the function draw. So okay, I've taken the function draw. So I'm going to rename it to reset. Okay. Okay. Everything looks good. So reset is like, um, you want you want so if the ball goes out or uh, if the ball like if the ball goes out from any side it's just like reset so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna do this so uh, i'm gonna put ball dot x equals to 200 you want it to be standard 200 so now i'm gonna do just do ball dot another not x this time y so i'm going to do the same thing 200 and then after that i'm just i'm just going to change the velocity to zero guys okay i'm just going to change the velocity to zero uh because you don't want your ball to move even though it's resetted am i right you don't want your ball to move when it's reset okay. so i'm just going to put the equal sign and just put zero even the next one also is like ball dot velocity so velocity y which is so zero guys and then let's see okay you got this okay your ball is moving so if it goes out it resets it but it doesn't move so what do you want to do for this i'm going to put another if condition so that another if condition is like you're going to take the if block and you're going to put um so you're going to put key down so this key down is like it helps you to like uh like if space key or a or b or c any any key is pressed then you do this so like it's good it's a good function and now i'm going to put if key down space I'm going to put ball dot velocity equals not zero this time. It's going to be five. So you don't want even even though if, if I spray, press space, it's it should be just stuck over there. So I'm going to put ball dot velocity. Okay, it's not mentioned what velocity. So I'm just going to put it as X and um, velocity y okay enter um, is equals to 5 okay let's do it run yay we got this dun, 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 yay it worked it worked it literally worked dun, 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 okay bye guys I'll See you later.